I am at. Okay, hopefully this works. Um, better than the last time where I just tried. Uh, I'm having problems with link at the moment, but let's try this. Emma. Okay, so this question, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to find the unshaded region inside the rectangle. Now, probably the easiest way to do that is a half r squared d theta. You can see as well, this makes loads of sense. That's supposed to say minus pi over 4 up to pi over 4, 3 pi over 4 up to 5 pi over 4. When you define for those values, oh, that's not new emailing, is it? Uh, no, it's Cora. Okay, so, okay, so 0 and pi over 4. Let's, let's just basically email it. Uh, sorry, I'm getting confused because I'm thinking about several things at once. Let's actually just integrate it from 0 to pi over 4, half r squared. So that's going to be 9 times by cos 2 theta, d theta, yeah? Um, and that's just going to work out one of these quarters for me, yeah? And you can easily use like, the symmetry of sine and cos to argue that this area is going to be exactly the same as this area, that area, and that area. And it's really just symmetry. So let's work that out. That's just going to be 9 over 2. It's going to integrate to sine 2 theta over 2 between pi over 4 and 0. And so that's sine of pi over 2, which is 1. So we get 9 over 4 for that. But now we require four of those. So area equals nine. Yeah, so that bit probably isn't the bit that you were stressed with. Um, it's fairly straightforward, that bit. The bit which you're probably stressed with is the next bit, where we've got to find where this rectangle is. Now, straight away, I would say, well, from look at a diagram, if indeed the diagram is to be trusted, it looks like this rectangle yeah, and they call it a rectangle. Yeah, no, no, they just call them four tangents. By the look of it, this seems to occur when the like angle is zero. And so you could just set zero into here, and you could see r equals three. It's cos of zero is one, square root is one, times by three, you get three. In other words, the distance from there to there is three, and the distance from there to there is three. Um, but I'm going to prove it to you. So here goes. Uh, we've got x equals r cos theta y equals r sine theta so x is going to be pretty ugly 3 root cos 2 theta cos theta and y equals 3 root cos 2 theta sine theta we're going to have to differentiate them because where the lines are flat well because dy by dx is dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta um, if you want the gradient to be zero, the top will be zero, i.e. that occurs where dy by d theta is zero, as does that one. But if you want the gradient to be infinite, well that occurs where the bottom is zero, i.e. these are going to be found by dx by d theta equal to zero. So if we found dx by d theta, well we're just going to use product rule for that, and so we're going to get um, now I'm just going to let 3 hang around. This is going to be a half times cos 2 theta to the minus a half. Multiplied by differentiate cos 2 theta, you get minus 2 sine 2 theta. And then we type these times by the other side undifferentiated, which is cos theta. Plus, now differentiate cos theta, we get minus sine theta. And we're going to times that by this side undifferentiated, so that's root cos 2 theta. Yeah? Okay, and we're going to let that equal zero, and I'm going to prove to you that definitely occurs when the radius is three. Um, divide this by three to get it out of the way. Uh, they're both negative, so we'll make them both positive. You're going to have the two is going to cancel with the half there. So you're going to have sine two theta, cos theta, over root cos two theta, plus sine theta, cos two theta, over root times by cos 2 theta rooted, and we'll get sine 2 theta cos theta, plus sine theta cos 2 theta. This looks like a perfect opportunity to use compound angle formula, and that would equal sine 3 theta. And so inverse sine of 0 is 0, and so 3 theta equals 0, or pi, or 2 pi, but you'll notice that theta is going to be equal to zero, and that corresponds to this one, yeah, or three pi pi, yeah. um, or pi.
pi over 3, but that's out of the range. Have a look here, that's out of the range. Same with 2 pi over 3, out of the range. 3 pi over 3 is fine, that's in the range, and that's why we get QR and PS occurring at theta equals 0 and theta equals pi. And when theta equals 0 and theta equals pi, what is R? Well, R is going to be 3 times cos 0 square rooted, which is 3, or 3 times cos 2 pi square rooted, which is 3. Yeah, And so, in other words, that distance is 3, and that distance is 3, and the width of the rectangle is 6. Now, I can do exactly the same thing. Sorry, that's just students cheering for Mr. Dickens again. He always gets all the cheers, doesn't he? Okay, dy by d theta. Let's do dy by d theta next. Can I move this around? Can I, can I move this? Oh, it's because I'm in smart ink. Look, let's turn off smart ink. Oh, <laughs> well, you can see what I did there. I found the width of six. It's probably quite handy, actually. You're turning it. Uh, all right, let's look, should come back. Um, let me just turn it off and move across the screen. Okay, now I've got to find dy by d theta. Now, this is a really important bit. Um, let me clear a space here. Oh, I've messed it all up, haven't I? It's all moved across. Um, let's just start fresh because I think you remember what was going on. Uh, so let's just clear ink. Okay, so what do we want to do now? We want to find dy by d theta. Now remember, y is um, 3 root cos 2 theta sine theta. Yeah, so I'm differentiating something different this time. dy by d theta, only slightly though. Leave the fly 3 hanging around. Um, you're gonna, it's going to be really similar to before. So let's differentiate that, you get minus a half there. Don't forget to times by minus two sine two theta, and then sine theta, plus, and then your next term is gonna be differentiate this, you just get cos theta, root cos two theta. Hope you don't mind me sticking it on the end like that, but sorry about that. Okay, so we want zero equals this. Now let's just divide the three over straight away. Uh, the half's going to cancel with the 2 again, but this is going to give you minus sine 2 theta, sine theta, over root cos 2 theta, plus cos theta over root, oh no, no, that's not over. <laughs> um, we're going to have to do the same trick that we did before. Even a splodge now. Smart ink is not so smart. Right conclusion here. Rub it out. There we go. Leave it down somewhere out of the way. Go over there. Oh, now it's disappeared. That's good. Uh, sorry, as you can see, I'm struggling with some new software. Plus cos theta root cos 2 theta. Times everything by root cos 2 theta, you get minus sine 2 theta sine theta plus uh, cos theta, cos 2 theta, and yeah, this looks just like uh, cos A cos B minus sine A sine B, which is cos A plus B, so 0 equals cos 3 theta this time. That's the way I'm going to do that one. I know they do it different from the mark scheme, but I'm not interested in their way. I think uh, this way is much more, uh, seems more obvious to me. So 3 theta equals 0. No, it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> no, it doesn't. 3 theta equals pi over 2. Well, let's just leave that there. Pi over 2, or 3 pi over 2, or 5 pi over 2, or 7 pi over 2, if you like. Uh, okay, in which case, or minus pi over 2, I should say. Actually, that's the other one. I should say minus pi over 2, because that's going to give me an answer in range. And so theta equals pi over 6, or pi over 2, or pi, did I get that one right? 3 pi over 2 divided by 3? Yeah, uh, that's fine. Um, 5 pi over 6, or minus pi over 6, yeah? Now let's see which ones we want here. Well, pi over 6 and minus pi over 6 are both in that range, yeah? You've got to check the range here. 
pi over 2 is not, because it's up here, it's not, the curve isn't defined for that bit. Um, so I want that one, I want that one. 5 pi over 6, is that in the range? No, it's not, yeah? Okay, so we can see that these are occurring at um, pi over 6 and minus pi over 6. Pi over 6 is here, and minus pi over 6 is down there, yeah? That's what's actually happening here. So, okay. And I think I've got that right, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, because you only need to define it for that. Okay, so what have we got, what have we got here? So at this point, we're now just going to find the R value. Well, if theta is pi over 6, we've got cos of 2 pi over 6, which is cos of pi over 3. Cos of 60 is the same as a half. So we're going to have 1 over root 2 times 3. Because, um, uh, yeah, cos of, uh, cos of 60 is 1 over root 2. Sorry, what am I saying? Cos of 60 is root 3 over 2. No, it's not. It's a half. I'll be a I'll square root in it. I was doing it right the first time. Uh, yeah. So this is going to be equal to a half, but we need to square root it and times it by three. So it's going to be three over root two. Yeah. Now what's that telling us? It's telling us that the distance from there down to there is three over root two. Yeah. But we also know that is pi over six. Yeah. Same up here. Three over root two. So know that is pi over 6. Well, I can use elementary trigonometry, therefore, to figure out that sign. Yeah? I can just say sine of pi over 6 is going to be, we call that x, x divided by 3 over root 2. Yeah? And so sine of pi over 6 is a half, so you've got 3 over root 2 times by a half. And that's equal to x. And if we double that, we'll have the width, which is what we really need. Yeah. Uh, so that's 3 over 2 root 2. So we need to do 2 times 3 over 2 root 2, which is just 3 over root 2. Yeah. And so the area, we can now do it, um, losing our space to write. Okay, the area is going to be equal to the area of the rectangle, which is 6 times by 3 over root 2. And that's obviously 18 over root 2. Oh, sorry, minus our answer from part 1, which is 9. Yeah, and that's 18 over root 2 minus 9, but 18 over root 2 is the same as times top 1 by root 2, 9 root 2. Minus nine, and that's the answer. Emma, I hope that was clear. Um, apologies for my handwriting. I'm using some new software at school. I don't like it. It's horrible. Uh, but yeah, hope that makes sense. That's a key thing. I used a slightly different t trick here than the mark scheme. I hope my way is sensible and seems clear. And don't forget, you need a little bit of a socket trick at the end there. Hope that was useful. Uh, yeah, keep up the hard work and bye.